Hey guys, I'm back with another video. Today we are going to make an ESP based subscriber counter which shows the real time data from YouTube API. This project features an ink plate to product from solder.co. This video is sponsored by solder.co, which is an open source one featuring an e paper display. The full open source file are there in her GitHub page, which will be linked below. The Inkplay 2 features a 3.7 600mAh battery and a board which has general purpose input output pins for connections. First, we go to their website which is solder.com, then click on store and Inkplay. This is the product which you are going to use the Inkplay 2. They have provided a detailed description about the product and these are some of the pictures. The Inkplay 2 features an e-paper display, a battery and a Wi-Fi antenna. These are some of the useful links and tutorials. First we go to the Inkplay Get Started page. There they have documented how to install the Arduino library on Arduino and install the drivers. Also you can install MicroPython and you can use expressive development surface and this is the github page you can download the arduino library from there the other links are to the open source github page there they have provided the full hardware design files we will go to their outputs and the version 1.23 and we will click on 3d printed file since we need to 3d print a case for that we will download the stl which is the bottom STL of the case. Just check it and download the bottom STL file from GitHub. We will download the file to a location. Then we download top STL from GitHub. As same we done, we will save it to a location. Let's open these files to check it. These are the files which we are downloaded. This is the top portion and this is the bottom portion. Then we open a slicer and import both files to the slicer. Here I'm using reality slicer version 4.8 and then position the files perfectly. After that, we select the quality. Here I am selecting super quality and slicing it. It will take around 4 hours and 41 minutes. Here I have printed everything on my Ender 3 S1 Pro. Then we open the Arduino IDE. Then place the board's URL. I will provide the link in the video description. Then we click OK. Then we go to the library manager and search for ink plate. Here I have already included the file over here. Then we go to sketch, include library. This is the other way you can include the Arduino library to the Arduino. Then we go to tools, click on board and click on ink plate boards and select soldered ink plate 2. Then we go to the examples of ink plate 2. Here they have provided so many examples. From that we will click on YouTube subscriber counter. Type the SSID and password. Here we need to provide the channel ID. For that we go to YouTube and select the channel. Copy the channel ID and paste it over there. Then we go to console.google.com. Then we select a project or you can start a project. Here I am naming it a subscriber counter. Then create it. After that selecting the project. We click on APIs. Then we enable the API. Here I'm using YouTube API version 3. Then we enable the API. After that we create a credential. Then copy the API and paste it over here. After we save then select the soldered ink plate to board. And the COM port to which we are going to upload the code. And we upload the code. The board first refresh the program. Then show the analytics of your YouTube channel with subscribe account, views and videos. Then we stick on the Wi-Fi antenna into the 3D printed board. 
then we put the lipo battery after that we place the e-paper display finishing it with placing the top part which we 3d printed to finish the build this is how you can make your very own diy subscriber counter which will show real-time data from the youtube api which we have provided i have already made a video on my youtube channel i hope you like the video if you like the video don't forget to like share and subscribe